Good Friday morning, Kennedy Dragons. We're glad that you're joining us on this Friday, January 22nd. It is the 93rd day of school, and we are super excited that you are here because Friday is Dad Joke Friday. So we're going to get started with a good dad joke today. So here we go. What kind of car do sheep love to drive? Lamborghinis. <laughs> Get it? Lamborghinis. All right. That's, uh, we'll keep going with some more jokes in a little bit, but let's go get started with our pledges and our moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I've met throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. All right, now that we have done our pledges and our moment of silence, it's time to model what good hand washing looks like. Uh, hand washing is important because it's one of those four things that we can all do that are super simple that can help us slow the spread of germs and keep us safe. The first thing is wear a mask. Make sure you're wearing a mask. Make sure it's covering your nose, covering your mouth. Make sure it's tight around your ear so it doesn't fall down. The mask actually protects you and it protects others from germs spreading back and forth so we can wear a mask. The second thing we can do is to social distance. That means keep six feet away from the people that you're with. Don't get up in everyone's face. Keep your distance. Make sure you're doing that. Third thing is if you are sick, stay home. Don't come to school if you're sick. If you have a fever, you have diarrhea, you uh, have, uh, you're super, super tired, um, you know, you're throwing up, we definitely want you guys to stay home. And the fourth thing is wash those stinking hands. Wash those hands. You got to keep washing those hands. Keep them clean. Uh, it's best if you can use soap and water. If you can't use soap and water, you can always use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. You need to be washing your hands for 20 seconds at least. Uh, a great way to do the 20 seconds is to uh, make sure that you guys are um, singing the ABC song um, or some kind of other song that last 20 seconds. So today I'm going to do it with some hand sanitizer. We're going to do it for 20 seconds. We're going to get some hand sanitizer going and let's get going. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs and my hands are as clean and germ-free as can be. Yeah. There you go. Had a paper cut on the tip of my finger and so this alcohol-based hand sanitizer really stung. But there we go. They're clean and germ-free. All right. We have completed our pledges. We have done our moment of silence. We have washed our hands and even burnt our fingers because we had paper cuts in them. It is now time to get started with our morning announcements. All right. Lunch. What's for lunch? All right. So our lunch today, Friday, of course, Pizza. What kind of pizza? Last week it was beef and cheese pizza. This week it's stuffed crust pizza, baby carrots, yellow corn, fruit, and elf grams. Elf graham crackers. Those are pretty good. I hope I get the cinnamon sugar ones. Sometimes I don't get the cinnamon sugar ones. I like the cinnamon sugar ones better than the honey ones. If you don't want stuffed crust pizza, baby carrots, yellow corn, fruit, and the elf graham crackers, you can always get a PB&J or of a yogurt and muffin, you'll still get the baby carrots, yellow corn, fruit, and the elf graham crackers. Not sure if they'll be honey or if they'll be uh, cinnamon sugar. 
sometimes you get chocolate. Not a fan, but that's what it is. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and get going with our morning message for today. Our morning message for today is self-control and self-responsibility. Dealing with anger. Lots of people, I hear people say, I've got anger management issues, that's why I hit people. Or I have anger management issues, that's why I threw that chair. Or I have anger management issues, that's why I yelled at you. Okay, let's learn self-control. Yes, I have anger management issues too. But you got to learn how to control yourself. You can't just use it as an excuse. We all get angry from time to time. A big part of growing up is learning how to deal with your anger. We have to learn that it's not okay to hit others, or break things, or ruin things, or throw chairs. It's not okay to scream and throw a tantrum on the floor, just any old place where you happen to be. We have to learn that it is okay to get rid of our anger, but not by hurting others or destroying things. We can take three deep breaths. We can count to 10. We could hit a pillow. I don't have one of those. Or we could ask to go outside to cool down or just go into the corner and calm down a little bit. We can talk to someone older and someone wiser about what made us angry. We can try to figure out how to make things better. Learning to deal with our anger is very important of part of growing up and becoming a good family member, a good friend, and a good citizen. With something to think about, I'm Mr. Butcher, make today your masterpiece or not. Remember, the choice is yours. One way of dealing with your anger is not saying I have an anger management issue and use it as an excuse to throw things or destroy things or call people names or cuss out loud. That's not an excuse. If you know you have an anger management issue, you need to come up with some ideas of how you can control that. Maybe it is taking deep breaths. Maybe it's counting to 10. Maybe it's asking in a very calm voice saying, I'm having anger issues right now. Could I walk away? It's simple things like that. That's what you got to do. You got to recognize. And if you recognize that you're having some things that are getting you angry and making you mad, do something about it. And oh, I love when people say, he made me do it or she made me do it. They didn't make you do it. You chose to do it. Your body made you do it. And you knew that you were getting angry. You got to do something to calm yourself down. If you do that, guess what? You won't have anger and issues. You'll manage your anger. Great way to manage your anger is to laugh. And the best way to laugh is at a dad joke. So, uh, we already told you about the sheep. What uh, do you call a toothless bear? Gummy bear. <laughs> get it? Gummy bear. All right, you may not get this one, but your teachers will. Uh, what kind of music do chiropractors like? Uh, chiropractors are people that push down on your back and crack your back. Hip hop. <laughs> All right, what do you call two octopus that look the same? Identical. <laughs> That's all the announcements I have for today. Please help me, Mr. Newport, your teachers, and if you're digital, your parents at home keep you safe. Uh, that's our job, to keep you safe. And your job is to help us, and you guys can help us keep you safe by being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader focused on graduation, you are boldly committed to student success. If you're in the building, it's time for a mask check. Remember putting those masks on. Make sure that it's covering your nose. Make sure that it is covering your mouth. Make sure that it's tight around your ear so that you can, it doesn't fall down. You guys have a great day. I love you very much.